Guided Spiritual Path. Doing a funeral, I was digging a grave, and for a very religious brother in, in Ramadan. Once we buried that brother, everyone started leaving. I jumped on this excavator, I started digging again. And this brother came and shadowed me on the machine. Mashallah, he was tall, you know. So I'm on an excavator, he's my height. And I looked at him and he goes, Is there another is there another funeral? I said, No, brother, it's just a spare grave. He left. He had two mates with him, they called him Ali Ali, let's go. Two days later I get a call, go and dig a big grave, a long one. This guy's tall. I went up there and I cleaned that grave out, that same grave, it had a little bit of mud in it. Funeral came, put the person in the grave, along my bed, we dig our graves two meters long. This guy had to bend his legs a bit to get him in. I'll never forget this guy. I buried him, I put the plate on there and I left. Next day I'm there in the morning. I turned the machine off because his wife was there and that. She goes, you wouldn't believe it, it was here two days ago. I said, he was here two days ago at the funeral. I said, who's for Kamel again? She goes, yeah. I said, he was a tall guy, eh? She goes, he's tall, mashallah. How'd he die? She goes, he went to sleep. I nudged him in the morning. He didn't get up. 40 years old. I said, did he have two guys with him? She goes, they're his best mates. He's always with them. And I started to think, that was the guy. That's the guy. I go, did he wear a black leather jacket? She goes, he loves his black leather jacket. He wears it everywhere. I looked at the plate then and it said Ali. And I remember this is the guy that was getting called. He looked at his grave, bro. He looked at it and he was buried in it. And I could take you there now and show you where it is exactly. I'll never forget that.